Now then YouTube, welcome back to my channel, hope you're having a lovely day. Today we're opening the Battles of Legend Heroes Revenge. This is going to possibly be Friday or Saturday, we'll see, it depends how it gets up. This is Battles of Legend Relentless Revenge, and these kind of sets only come around once per year. You've got some excellent reprints in this set, you've got Sky Striker Engage, which we've been waiting for to be honest, because that card was, whoo, got two in my first Dark Saviors box, it's one of the first videos I ever made, I don't Suggest watching it. <laughs> but we got two. I sold them both. And also, in my Cybernetic Horizon video, my first one, we pulled a Boral Saw Dragon in the very first pack. And I also had to sell that. That is also reprinted in the set. So, those are the two I'm hoping to pull. Let's hope they're not short printed. Let's see what we can get. Got the cellophane wrap off eventually. I think there are some um, XYZ monsters in here as well. So last time, last time Battles of Legend, Relentless Revenge, we uh, were looking for that Golden Castle and we managed to pull it. Today, I think we're looking for that Boral Sword and the Sky Striker Engage. There is a uh, number monster that is short print as well, I think, and a Salaman Great card, a new Salaman Great card that's also possibly short print. So, if you would like to purchase a box or a few packs, then these will be available on tailandtailor.co.uk, my uh, TCG website. So, here we go Battles of Legend Heroes Revenge. Let me know what you think of the set, let me know what cards you're excited to see, let me know what exciting reprints you're excited to see. Let's get excited, here we go. Battle Wasp, yeah, the Battle Wasp is a new archetype that's introduced in this set. Battle Wasp, Nest, Continuous Trap. Guardian. Guardian of Order. The font is a little funky. Guardian of Order. That's a nice font though, isn't it? Lucky Loan. Nice. Will of the Salamangre. Reprint. And Vision Hero Vion, that's also a reprint and secret rare there. This card was hard to acquire at some point. Also got a secret rare reprint of Dino Wrestler Pancratops in here, which should be nice to pull. Because that's getting some fair use. Uh, I can't remember which side I started with. Let's go back to the right side. Come on, focus. Looks like we've got ourselves another Battle Wasp card. Here we've got Battle Wasp, Dart the Hunter. Yeah, see, it's like a dart, insect monster. One star, Water of Life. Usually there are some printings of some anime cards that we've never usually seen in the TCG. I think one of those is Gingerbread House from the original anime. Interrupted Kaiju Slumber, very nice reprint there as well. Secret Rare Interrupted Kaiju Slumber. I'm sure this is a must for any deck that uses Kaijus. So those are our first two Secret Rares. Let's put them over there. Fusion Hero and Interrupted Kaiju. And we have a Vision Hero. Yes, we have some OCG imports for Vision Hero, I think. Don't quote me on that. Oh, Gold Moon Coin. I believe this is an anime card. Add a card from your hand to your opponent's hand. Then draw two cards. You can only activate one gold coin per turn. <laughs> oh, Stratos, you're back. And Vision Hero Faris is the... Uh, Secret rare there. I think he's on the box, maybe. Or well, maybe not. Stratos is cool. Got Stratos. Good, good old Stratos. Should we give this guy a read? Warrior, you can discard one of the hero monster special summon this card from your hand. If this card is normal or special summoned, you can place one vision hero monster from your deck, except vision hero Varus, in your spell and trap zone as a face of continuous trap. Okay, so that's a bit like the Crystal Beasts. It's a little strange there. Also, you cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck for the rest of this turn. That's kind of a shocking thing. Except hero monsters. Okay. You can only use each effect once per turn. So that's Faris. 
I don't know why I've put you in with a secret res, Strauss. You're not so secretive. And we go, some more packs. Let's go. And we have, oh, you're cute. Fortune Fairies, yes. New archetype in here, Fortune Fairies. I think they're new anyway. Fortune Fairies, sweet. Shadow Squamata, some shadow cards. Battle Wasp, Pin the Bullseye. Dragon Necro, Nether Soul Dragon. He looks pretty cool, dope. Vision Fusion, oh. That looks pretty cool as well. Look at the skulls on there. Fusion summon one hero fusion monster from your extra deck using monsters from your hand or field as fusion material. Okay. There's another secret rare. So it is five cards per pack, 24 packs per box, and a secret rare in every pack. Uh, Battle Wasp, Pin, Battle Wasp, Twin Bow. Battle Wasp Tinesk. This is all the Battle Wasp. Shadow of Falco and Fortune Fairy Hikari. Oh, they're kind of cute, aren't they? It's Fortune Fairies. So this is a secret rare Fortune Fairy. I'm not really sure on the prices. I've not really checked. I just got home from work and now I'm making this video for you. So when you draw this card, you can reveal it. Special summon it from your hand. If this card is special summoned from the hand, you can target one monster you control sent to the graveyard. And if you do special summon one level one spellcaster monster from your deck, Okay, that's going to be a cr hopefully that's going to be a crazy uh, strategy there. If you draw it, special summon it. It's not really an effect we like to see. Oh, it looks like it's another fortune fairy. Can we get them all? Fortune fairy. Who? Who? Apparition. Shadow Beast. Vision Hero Trinity and TG Gear Zombie. Our right, secret rare. TG gear zombie, yeah, there's some more TGs in here for you TG heads. There we go. Been a while since I opened a push box here. Summoning swarm for the battle wasps. Oh, and a synchro battle wasp. Okay, cool. Fortune fairy Ab, Shadow Falco, and a number 97 drag Lubion. I think that's on the box. That looks a very cool card kind of there. Oh, yeah. Two level 8 monsters. Oh, so maybe you could use this in your Blue Eyes deck. Let's see what its effect is. Your opponent cannot target this card with card effects. You can detach one material from this card. Take two dragon number monsters with different names from your extra deck and or graveyard, except number 97 Dragulion. Special summon one of them and attach the other to it as material. Also, for the rest of this turn, you cannot special summon other monsters or declare an attack, except with that special summon monster. You can only use this effect. Okay, so it brings back other number... Other drag two dragon number monsters with different names from your extra deck and or graveyard, and attaches one to it. Special summons the other, I believe. Yeah, he's the top guy. He's the top guy on the box. Very cool secret. Rest. Very happy with that kaiju thunder. Let's go. Shadow Beast. Shadow Beast. Oh, a Link monster. Because this is 2019, but it is a gimmick puppet chimera doll. Ugly looking. Dugara's the Timeless. He looks cool. Fiend, 4 star. Or rank 4. Vision Hero, Minimum Ray. He has the Minimum Ray. Cool. And a Secret Rare, Battle Wasp. The Conquering Bow. We're not seeing many doubles here, are we? We're not seeing many doubles at all. That's very good. I think Vision Hero, Trinity. I think we've seen a couple of them. And let's go. Oh, snap. Vision Hero Poisoner, the Water of Life, we've seen him before. Herald of the Arclight reprint, I think that was in Dual Power, wasn't it? Uh, before this, Fortune Fairy, Chu, Chi, Chi, Elemental Hero Neos Knight, ooh, ooh, nice cards. Neos Knight, uh, I've not heard anything about this, so I'm not, I don't really imagine it's that good. Fusion summon one hero, Neos, and one warrior monster, must be fusion summoned to gain attack equal to the half. The original attack of the warrior fusion material used for its fusion summon. Hmm. So what what warrior would you fuse with Neos? What warrior would you fuse with Neos? Let me know in the comments below. Gains half the attack. <laughs> would it be Stratos? Probably not. <laughs> What's this then? Oh, it's a black dragon collapse weapon. Oh, what also is shot print on it here is the black luster soldier. Link Monster, oh, I'd love to pull that, because Black Monster Soldier is one of my favourite summon limit. That's a 
Pretty good reprint there. I think this is getting some play. Neither player can summon more than two times per turn. Pretty limiting considering the game is like summon, 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 summon these days. So yeah, this you need this. Wasn't this in dual power? Or not? I don't know. Anyway, there's quite a lot of Necros cards in dual power to be fair. The camera won't focus, sorry about that. That is a beautiful secret rare though, isn't it? With that emerald ritual summon any Necros monster. Very good. I'm running out of space with these secrets. Sorry the video is a little bit long, but this is a full box. Let's go. Oh, it's that. It's that bloody golden card again. Gold moon coin. Destiny Hero Dangerous. Ooh. Good reprint. TJ Drillfish. TG Drillfish. Battle Lost Ballista. An Artifact Lancia. Yes. Good pull there. Good pull. Very competitively used card here, uh, if it's the Artifact Lancia that I think it is. You can set this card from your hand to your spell and trap zone as a spell. During your opponent's turn, if this set card in the spell and trap zone is destroyed and sent to your graveyard, possibly by a twin twister, special summon it. During your opponent's turn, as a quick effect, you can tribute this card from your hand or face up field, and neither player can banish cards for the rest of this turn. Okay, it's not the one I thought it was. It's Molnir that stops your opponent from summoning from the extra deck, but still. Your, neither player can banish cards for the rest of this turn. That is pretty good. Let's get the other artifact. Please. What's this? It's Predoplast. Bizarre little quick play reprint from, I believe, Soul Fusion, that one. Now it's in an Ultra. Vision Hero, Gravito. Shadow Hedgehog, nice. Battle Wasp, Twist, Twin Bow, the and Cyberstein. Oh, classic Yu-Gi-Oh right there. Cyberstein as a secret rare, yeah. This recently in the past six months came off the ban list. And uh, there was a, there was a, was there an OTK or an FTK with this? Uh, you pay 5,000 life points. So this is no good in your dual links because you don't get that many life points in that game. Special summon one fusion monster from your extra deck in attack position. But look at him. Secret rare Cyberstone. I might have to sleeve you up. Because you take me way back to the beginning of the game. I can't remember what set it was originally. We have a reprint for the Lunar Light Kaleido chick. It's been some time since that um, topped that tournament with those guys. Can't remember the names. Sonic Stun, Revival Swarm, Symbol of Friendship from Taya Gardner, you know, the beginning episode. Let's all draw this on our heads. Symbol of Friendship and Secret Rare Dino Wrestler Pancratops. Beautiful. Look at him. Just look at him. It's great. So if you don't know what this card does, if your opponent controls more monsters than you do, sometimes that can happen, you can special summon this card from your hand. You can only special summon Pancratops once per turn. So it's a bit like Cyber Dragon, but 2600 instead of 2100 attack. You can tribute one Dino Wrestle Monster, then target one card your opponent controls and destroy it. So you can tribute himself and destroy one target, one card your opponent controls and destroy it. You can only use this effect. But you could also tribute another Dino Wrestler if you had another Dino Wrestler. Let's go, second side. We're halfway through and 14 minutes on the recording. Oof. Speed things up a bit. What do we have here? Vision Hero Witch Raider. Lunar Light Crimson, Squash, Squamata, Predoplast, and Dark Sacrifice. I know nothing of this card. What does this card do? When your opponent activates a card effect that will destroy cards on the field and negate the effect, then send one level 3 or lower Dark Monster from the deck to Graveyard. And possibly, or maybe not. Level 3s, Burning Abyss is level 3, but why would you want something in the Graveyard? Answer me that comment section. Here we go, Battle Wasp, Dart, the Hunter, Subterra Guru, Reprint, Ultra Rare, Revival Swarm, Vision Release, and Stardust Mirage. Is this for the Stardust Dragon? Is this for your old friend Stardust Dragon? It is. Very cool. Lots of random cards. Lots of random cards. That's the Battles of Legend sets, and they're very exciting. TG Metal Skeleton, Shadow Hedgehog, Unacceptable Result. Vision Hero Multiply Guy. Vision Hero Multiply Guy. And a secret rare high speed work rubber band shooter. Oh these cards are so cheesy. The names. Okay. Well he's a machine link too. The speed roids. Yeah. Nice. 
It doesn't look like we're getting the ball so or the engage. I say that. Half the cards guide us until victory dangerous. Sonic's done. There's the gingerbread house from the episode. Is it Leon Van Schroeder? He uses it against Rebecca. I've watched it recently. Uh, summoning Swarm and double headed anger. <laughs> double headed. Double what? Double headed. Anger knock. Is this uh, some of your trains? Some of you rank up train guys? Are you in thinner tracks? Is that for you? Maybe. Oh, it's busy. We use too much recording. Well, let's record some more. Here we go. Just a few packs left. It's a Synchro Battle Wasp. Of course it is. Will of the Salmon, great. White Dragon Wave Buster. Battle Wasp and... Ha Ooh! Yes, I forgot. For you happies. For you happy people out there. Happy Conductor. I'm surprised that's a secret rare, but that's the um, Link monster that was in the OCG Link Brains Pack 2, possibly, something like that. So that's an import from the OCG Wound Beast. Pretty card. Probably censored, but still pretty. Still pretty. Come on. Oh! Did we just get it? No, that's Scythe. Okay, so it might be Scythe then. Is Scythe the one? Set this card from your hand to your spawn trap zone. It's probably the last effect that I'm interested in. If this card specializes the majority of points turn, your opponent cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck for the rest of this turn. So that will shut down your opponent's extra deck. Yeah. That's going there. Vision Hero Poison. What a reprint, though. Solomon Great Sanctuary. Foolish Burial. As I was talking about reprints. Do we really need it? An Avendred Saviour. I'm not sure I know anything about this card, but it is a Link Monster. Maybe it's an import. I'm not sure. To be honest with you. There we go. More Fortune Fairies. Battle Wars. Lunar Light Crimson Fox. Fortune Fairy N. And All Eyes Phantom Dragon. I'm all eyes, Phantom Dragon. All eyes. Pendulum, Dragon, Monster, 3000 attack, loads of stars. Not too bad. Well, Wasp, Bird Wasp, Apparition, Artifact, Scythe, nice, and Iperia. I believe this is also. Okay, this is also an anime import. I think this is from the. That's two Scythes, I'll take that. That's, I think this is from the virtual world. One of those guys, one of those suits. If it's got a summon drawn card, you can only use this effect of once per turn. I don't know if anyone's going to use this. Now, but it's nice that they're going through the anime and importing cards. It's not engaged, but also, oh, it's a fusion. TG Metal Skeleton, Miracle Stone, Gimmick Puppet, Fortune Fairy, and Five-Headed Dragon. Speaking of the f f f Five-Headed Dragon, speaking of the, um, Virtual World, I think this card was first used by those guys. They all combined together or something. Weird alternate art secret rare reprint that I, is nice to have, I guess. Nice to have. Two packs left. One engage. And one war sword. Please. Close. Here we have a number 26 space white op to bypass. A fortune very sweet. Elemental hero at soul loot zero. Miracle stone and number 91 Eurotopia Kaiser. Now, I think this is a short print number master. I will have to get back to you on that. But it looks pretty awesome, so I'll sleeve it up. Sleeve it up good. Sorry, I did that off camera. There we go. We took it because. Be embarrassing now if that isn't a short print. But last pack. Let's hope for something magical. What do we have? Yeah, Vision Hero, Multiply Guy. White Dragon, Wither Buster, Vision Hero, Witch Raider, Little Mike Collider Chick, and Black Luster Soldier! Sorry, but he is the favourite. Soldier of Chaos. Beautiful card. Warrior Link Effect Monster. Three monsters with different names. Okay. Generic ish. If this card was linked summoned using a level 7 or higher monster as material, your opponent cannot target it with card effects. Also, it cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects. 
When this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle, you can activate one of these effects. This card gains 1500 attack. This card can make a second attack during the battle phase of your next turn, or it can banish one card on the field. That's getting sleeved up. The beautiful Golden Dealer's Sleeve. Blackluster Soldier. Soldier of Chaos. So we've got some pretty cool secrets. Uh, I'm just going to quickly recap. We've got these two. I think those are probably the most shot printed. And you've got Dino Wrestler Pancratops Secret Rare. Sleeve up. Do 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 Cyber Steam. Just leaving them up just because for all time's sake. There we go. And interrupted Kaiju Slumber. Let's leave that out. So yeah. Cool cards there. Cool cards. We've got some cool cards. We've got some artifacts. Two artifact sites as well. Very nice. So to wrap up, if you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. Let me know if you want to see me open some more Battles of Legend Heroes Revenge. And um, stay tuned for more videos. Stay tuned for the ASMR binder collection of this set. I think I still need to post the Dark Neo Storm though. Yeah. And subscribe for more. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.